Hello, I'm back. Yes, I know, I'm playing with lighting. I'm playing with camera positions. It is what it is. There you go. I don't know, maybe if I figure it out finally, I'll be able to stop playing with all this stuff and just get stuff done. Oh, I discovered something absolutely spectacular. I was checking on the idiot machine and I was hoping to find something similar to Zero Sweat or somehow I could get it. Guess what? It finally passed FDA approval and I can get Zero Sweat, which is my favorite for stopping Look, I've got hyperhidrosis. My head sweats like it's got nothing better to do. And it runs right down in my eyes and is really, really annoying. And when it runs down in my eyes, not only does it mess up the makeup, it, it can sting so bad that that's the hound. Oh, I noticed while I was editing the other one that Miss Katie was in the room. I didn't realize immediately. It's like the hyperhidrosis. There is so much sweat that runs down my face that I literally cannot see. We went out in the yard the other day trying to do a little bit of yard work. We figured 15 minutes. I had the other sweat lotion on. Next thing I know, even with a hat and a bandana, across my forehead. The sweat was leaking down my face to the point where I had to have Jim guide me back in the house because I literally could not see, which was no fun whatsoever. None. Yes, I still have allergies. Sorry. Anyway, I'm hoping this is going to work a little better. And you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little better. And hopefully, hopefully, the mirror will be low enough with the camera sitting on top of it that I can talk to people without necessarily looking over at the camera uh, at, at the monitor. I moved the monitor. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I say anyway so often it's got to drive people crazy. I'm going to put some of the grip primer in some of the same places 
I did the zero sweat because my glasses have gotten so stretched out. I need new glasses. They have gotten so stretched out that they will slide right off my face at the slightest provocation, which is absolutely no fun. And now I'm going to decide what the heck I'm going to do first. Am I doing my eyes first? Am I doing my makeup first? Let's see. What have I got to work with here? Let me check all of my... Huh. I haven't used this one yet. We'll give it a try. AOA Studio. AOA is inexpensive. It really is. In some cases, it's a dollar. In some cases, it's a little more, but those are usually the times when part of the proceeds go to special projects. They have one called Paw Paw that takes care of animals in need. They've got one that's called A Plus that donates to education and one that donates to oh. Sorry, one that donates to ecology. I like ecology. It's wonderful. Okay. Garden of Jubia. Let's see what I come out with this time. I've got an orange shirt on. There's not a lot of orange in this palette, but what the heck. We'll see what I come out with anyway. Anywho. Let's see. I think I'm going to start off with Peony. It's kind of a mauve pink. And I'm just going to tap it right there. I love Juvia's Place. They have pigment. Now, AOA. I love their foundation. It's wonderful. But no, I don't use it all the time. But I love it. I don't know where my little bottle went. But this is their stick which works really well for me during the winter and see this one's an A plus and it's got a bunny and that 
was a dollar eighty-eight because it's got an A plus. The rest of the money goes to education. Yes, I'm looking in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm hoping having the mirror and the camera closer, you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. I mean, I was sitting looking at the last one and going, can they see anything? Yeah, let's do this. I rearranged my entire set up last night. I just went nuts and rearranged it. It's actually kind of pretty. Now. Got this lovely brown shade over here. It's called Oh Honey. And just kind of plop that in. Darken that up just a little bit. Don't forget, you got hooded eyes. It's an outer seven, not an outer B. Because the last thing you want to do is try to drag it way out here. Or it's going to look funny when your eyes are open. It's not a very dark, they don't really have much of a dark selection in this palette. It's definitely flowers. with just a little dirt. However, we're gonna see how this goes. Cause it really doesn't need to be dark, 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 dark. And just because I'm wearing orange, it doesn't need to be very orange. Pull that right under there. Pull that right under there. probably clean that up with the concealer because that is a little wide. Oh, I hope I've got the microphone loud enough. We shall see. I kind of turned it down a little bit because I was going to be right up in people's face. And the microphone is right there. Let's see. I think, watch it, 
I do faint. Not often. I'm going to put some Lucky Clover in the middle. And while it's pale, it's a good place to start if I'm going to put a shimmer over it. I got all kinds of shimmers in here. We've got flower petals and best buds and money tree. Probably go back and hit that brown just a little bit more. I don't want to lose that whole corner. Now, one thing with this particular palette, it does have some kick up. I like pink and purple. Pink and purple's fun. It really is. Okay, I think I'm going to go with flower petals. It's closer, it's closer in shade to Lucky Clover and it's not such a heavy sparkle. not helping. The fan is trying to blow my setting spray away to make it more difficult to get the brush sprayed. I like that. That's pretty. Put just a little bit under here. Just for the heck of it. I may get uppity and just put the Petals on top of the inner corner without anything else. I don't know, I've got a pink sparkle too. actually got a yellow sparkle if I want to get 
really funky. However, my husband says yellow is not my best color. Especially bright yellows. I do much better with mustards. That's looking kind of spiffy. Drag that brown in a little more. Trying to get it. Layered up there a little bit. All right. I may leave the marigold for the inner inner corner and take the Pink called Blossom. And put that on the inner corner of the eyelid. Ooh. That's pity. That pity. Pat, pat, pat. Pull that up to the other pink just a bit. I really do love Julia's place. I've got several Juvia's place palettes. Back from when I was chasing palettes more. And when I decluttered, I absolutely did not get rid of my Juvia's Place I wasn't giving them up, not for nothing. I think that's looking pretty nice. What y'all think? And I've got
these two that I can do as mats in the corner. I've got purple I can do and mat in the corner. I could do the blooming pink again. Well, the peony. I could do the lucky clover again. Or I could cheat and grab a different palette all together. Okay, now, let's get on with the rest of this stuff. I'll put that inner, inner corner in after I get finished. Now, I know people debate putting concealer on before and or after foundation. See, I told you that mirror just goes off whenever it please. I have a tendency to switch up whichever I grab first. But I've always gone you know, if you don't conceal first, how are you going to know what you need to work on? Yes, it's weird. It's weird. I'm weird. We have all the weird. Alright, where'd that good brush go? Down here in the bottom. Get my dinky one. For getting up in here. Now, that was the elf pen. I'm still trying out the elf soft glam. So, I'll be using that quite a lot for a while until I decide whether or not I likes it. So far, so good. I managed to pick a fair, decent color for my face, going by season. I will probably have to lighten it up some and get 
one of the paler uncooked chicken colors. Yeah, this one is 22 light warm. I like the way it covers. I like the way it doesn't, you know, you've got levels. If you want to build it up, build it up. If you don't want to build it up, leave it light. You can get the coverage you want. So, so far, I'm happy with it. So far. Let's see. Get this one out. Now, I saw one of my favorite people Miss Cat doing something that I'd never heard of of where to place your bronzer and your blush to make it look like you're a little younger and I'm going I don't know if that's gonna work I mean she's got a very angular face and mine is very round and the apples of my cheeks are not where they used to be so She didn't put a lot of bronzer on, and she put it fairly high as to where the sun would be hitting on your face. So we'll see how this looks. I'm going to experiment a little. Sun hits face here. Sun hits face up here. Sun hits less face down here, but this is my kind of contour thing. Under here, it makes it kind of sink back. Now, I'm even using some of the colors that she did. She used Always Rosy from e.l.f. It's one of the primer-infused bits. And... With the pink in the eyes, I think I'm good. I've got another one. It's called Always Cheeky, but it's definitely more of a brown. Okay. See? Dirty owls. I'm not going way down or way up, which is weird because I usually go up quite a bit.
course, when I smile, you can see all the wrinkles on the sides of the eyes. And just kind of blend that in together. Put a little of this on my schnoz. And then I'm going to pull a shimmery thing out of here. Now this one's got a little pink to it. It's also AOA. There it is. This has got to be my favorite. I like blush. Brush. I won't get it yet. Put a little bit up here just because, otherwise known as just because I can, and a little bit here that kind of mixes in with the blush just a tad. Had a wrinkle spot that didn't want to take. Still not wanting to take much, but. for the heck of it. Now, I really like this. It's called Everglow Morning Star. And this was a dollar. It was a dollar. And it's so pretty. Okay. Put my silly eyebrows on. You know, your eyebrows are supposed to help keep the sweat out of your eyes. Look at these little weedy things. They ain't gonna keep squat out of my eyes. And this is all, not all from plucking. I've always had little weedy eyebrows. And part of it is because I was born blonde. White haired blonde. People didn't think I had hair for the first two years. Okay, 
good enough for that. Now, I'm going to pause this thing for just a minute. Because some people don't like to see people doing water lines and tight eyes. And God help me, I don't need anybody watching my shaky hands do an eyeliner. They've seen it enough. I shall return. Okay, people, I'm back. Got a little green here and there in the water line and the tight line and in the eye line. Da 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 da. And I got a little bit of mascara dotted up on my upper lid. And nobody's perfect. Anyway, got all this pink stuff going on. I don't have a lot of pink in my lipstick collection. I think I've got two. One of them is from, let's see, this one. is Picnic on Peach Tree, which is kind of an orangey pink. And it's from Beauty Bakery. And then I've got this elf that pretty pink. called flirtatious. Anyway, I don't know why, but I have a ton of liners in pink. Now, I am told I do look good in pink. At least that's what my parents used to say. And my grandma. Well, at least one grandma. Daddy's mama never commented much on clothes. Eh. Have to sharpen it. That's stinky. But that should do. More than a little. I think I'm going to go with flirtatious because that's the pinkiest one. The other one's got a lot of orange to it. That's very pink. That is really pink. 
pinky, pinky, pinky. I may have to get rid of my pinks, at least the pale ones. quads that came in an Ipsy bag when I was still doing Ipsy. And it's got kind of a satin goldy kind of color. that I'm going to stick right there. I know it's 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 not a mat. Mats can look better in the inner corner. But I don't got a mat that I really want to put in the inner corner. How many of you remember seeing your grandma and mama blot so that their lipstick wasn't just too bright or too mucky? the shirt a little better. There. There we are. Done and done. I gotta remember to take the book thing off the front because I'm not well, I just did mention the books, but I'm not going to talk about them a lot right now. I hit you up with them the other day. That was enough for a minute. There you go. Just remember, outer seven, not outer V. You don't want to try to get your creepy eyes way out because they're going to look funny when you open your eyes. You open your eyes to look at somebody and it just gets weird out here. Tell me what you think of that, that blush trick. I'll have to tell Kat what I think of it. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure I like it, but I don't hate it. 
anyway. Be good. Absolutely no bail money. Couldn't even bail out my dogs. Be kind. Excuse me. Be kind. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.